This is Llama 6 reporting in. I hear voices in my garage. I'm checking it out. Freeze! What the? What the? Stay right there! Welcome back to the channel, Dem members. Sorry about that. It would appear Steve accidentally left one of his gummy science experiments here unattended without letting me know it's taken care of. A few weeks back, I did a review on the Night Fox Swift 2 night vision headset. I was honestly quite impressed with the abilities, the capabilities of the Swift 2, especially given my negative impressions and opinions of the original Swift. Well, the good people across the pond at Night Fox seem to enjoy that video as well. And they reached out again and asked if I would be interested in doing a review on their new night vision monocle, which they say is geared towards a more tactical use case and environment. Of course I said yes. So today's video is an overview and review of Night Fox's first attempt at a more tactical night vision monocle device, the Night Fox Prowl. Just to be clear and 100% transparent, I did not pay for this device. Night Fox was generous enough to send this over to me. Thank you again. In exchange, they asked only that I do a completely honest, unbiased review of their product. They didn't even care to see it before it went live. Other than the proud device, I am not being compensated in any way, shape, or form. Again, my views, my impressions, and my opinions on this device and its capabilities are completely my own. I just want to get that out of the way so you know that I am not some corporate shill. One point of clarification I want to make before I go any further into this video. When Night Fox says that they are creating something for a more tactical environment, they mean airsoft. That said, there's a lot of people in the United States and around the world that have less restrictive gun laws that may be interested in such a device to fill the gap between being incapable of seeing at night and spending thousands of dollars on modern green or phosphor night vision goggles. So when a company like Night Fox comes up with a monocle that implements digital infrared technology and it comes in at a cost about a quarter of what a traditional green phosphor monocle is going to cost, you're going to catch the eye of a lot of people. And when Night Fox brought my attention to and made me aware of the Prowl as a coming product, I got really excited because it seems to address one of the very big glaring issues that is present when using a traditional headset, and that is camera placement. When you're viewing the world through a single input, you lose some of that depth perception and you're having vision that is essentially put right here. Now for simple observation, a headset that uses a single camera is just fine. But the problem arises when you start wanting to use an optic with something like this. You're going to have to have the headset lined up center behind the optic. Now looking at this, you can see the problem. You aren't getting over there. You're not gonna have a good sight picture through this optic. This is just not realistic. Oh, and I guess since this is on the channel, we'll just, it's clear. And that's why I mentioned at the end of the video on the Swift 2, having a laser mounted on the firearm would allow you to be able to acquire a target without necessarily getting down and looking through the optic. With the monocle, however, because it is a single eye, your eye is right behind the camera. And this will allow a pretty decent cheek weld so you can line the monocle up behind the optic. So let's get into the Night Fox Prowl, what all comes in the box, and we'll get into what makes this thing tick. Like the Swift 2 and the Swift 2 Pro, the Night Fox Prowl comes with the device and all of the necessary hardware to either mount it to the included head strap 
or to a bump or fast helmet. It comes with an adjustable mounting bracket. It comes with a GoPro style mounting system, as well as a dovetail to mount to a Wilcox style mounting system for a helmet. Night Fox actually sells a dual adapter for the head mount, which will allow you to mount a second Night Fox Prowl to the headset, allowing you to have proper night vision goggles that operate independently on each eye. A really cool feature for those that want to spend about $500. On the front, you have a lens protector. This is to protect it from taking any kind of damage from taking headshots from the sniper in your airsoft match. It's also worth noting that this will keep dust and dirt and mud and the elements off of the lens. On the left hand side of the monocle behind this gasket, you will find the USB-C charging port and the micro SD card slot. Yes, the Prowl has a record feature. You'll also find the hard reset button just above the USB-C port. As for the internals and the controls, it's very similar and very familiar to the Swift 2 model. You have the infrared lights on the front here below the camera sensor. On the left hand side, you have the 850 nanometer emitter. And then on the right hand side, you have the 940. I know it shows as pretty visible on the camera, but to the naked eye, the 940 nanometer is not very visible. You have to be in a very dark atmosphere and you have to know what you're looking for to see it. The 850 nanometer is still quite visible. That's not gonna change from model to model. I also wanna reiterate that the infrared light is visible to other infrared devices or night vision goggles. So you're not going to be very stealthy if you're up against somebody else that is also using infrared technology. Just like the Swift 2 and the Swift 2 Pro, it has a removable replaceable lithium 18650. I hope I'm saying that right. Maybe it's 18650, 18,650. That battery included. I forgot to call this out in the last one. The battery lasts about five hours. It's rechargeable within the device. And as I said in the Swift 2 video, it's great because once that battery inevitably dies, you can replace it with a new lithium 18650. And the device is not bricked once the battery dies. Thank you, Night Fox. Moving on to the screen, of course, you don't get as big of a screen as you would in the Swift 2 or the Swift 2 Pro. It is a 1.3 inch 360 by 360 resolution LCD screen. Would we like it to be higher def than that? Maybe 720? Sure. To keep the price on this down, I completely understand the lower resolution. And honestly, because of the size of the screen, it doesn't feel like you're looking through an absolute potato. I've commented in the last two videos about the visual lag or the motion blur in the device. I don't know if they've made some sort of component upgrade between the release of the Swift 2 and the Swift 2 Pro and the Prowl, or if it's just because it's a smaller screen, the visual lag and motion blur on the Prowl seems considerably less. My eyes are particularly sensitive to motion blur and visual lag, but I haven't noticed any issues with this. I'll throw myself under the bus for a little bit here. I was out in my backyard the other night with the monocle mounted on my bump helmet and I was literally running around for 10, 15 minutes. I had no issues. I didn't have any stumbling. I had no issues maneuvering around in the back. Like the Swift 2 and the 2 Pro, it has a built-in menu where you can adjust a lot of different settings. You can change the time and date for the recording functionality. You can disable both or one or the other of the infrared lights, and you can adjust the filter from the white filter to the green phosphor-esque filter. I'm not gonna get into the menu settings until the very end here because it's very intuitive, it's self-explanatory, and the controls are very easy to navigate. So that's the Night Fox Prowl in a nutshell. This is an excellent device. This is so close to being amazing. But because of a couple issues, 
two of which I think are fixable with this model. Because of those issues, it's just off from being a completely amazing product. We were on the verge of greatness. We were this close. I'll address the issues from least debilitating to most debilitating. First is the recording functionality of the monocle. It works. It absolutely works. However, Night Fox says the Prowl should record in 1080p at 30 frames per second. I have not been able to get it to record at 1080. I can only get it to record at 720p. There are no options within the menu that allow me to increase the resolution. I don't know if this is something that's only affecting the initial release of the Prowl or if it's something that's locked in the firmware or if there's a patch coming, but I would be remiss to admit the fact that the Prowl does not record at 1080, despite everything saying that it should. Now that's not a make it or break it for me because unless I'm using this for something on the channel, I'm not gonna be looking for recording quality. The second issue is the same issue that afflicts the Swift 2 and the Swift 2 Pro. If you go into the menu, you will see an option for frame rate. If you go into that sub menu, there are options for 30 FPS and 60 FPS. If you select 60 FPS, this will cause the monocle to lock up every single time you go into the menu, whether you change something or not. Leave the frame rate alone. Now, if you have selected the 60 FPS option in the menu, you can still fix it. If you push the little button just above the USB-C port, this will hard reset the monocle. This will then allow you to get back into the menu and you can scroll down through the menu to select factory reset. I've talked to Night Fox and they have said that this is a glitch in the firmware and they are working to fix it. They had originally asked that I include in this video instructions on how to update the firmware, but as of the time of recording this, they haven't actually gotten the patch on their website. Nothing like the 11th hour to get an update into this video. The firmware update for the Prowl and only the Prowl is now on Night Fox's website. I will have a direct link down in the description. There are instructions on how to do that. I will do a quick video on how to do that either this coming week or in the following week. But I did want to include that the firmware update is now on Night Fox's website. Thanks guys. This issue is annoying, but it's not debilitating and it doesn't brick or make the monocle useless. The third issue, and it's only an issue if you're expecting the Night Fox Prowl to be an all-in-one solution to night vision to use with a firearm equipped with an optic. If you're looking to use the Night Fox Prowl as a standalone all-in-one night vision solution in conjunction with a rifle or airsoft gun that uses an optic like a red dot or a hollow sight here, you're going to be disappointed. The infrared emitters are located directly below the camera lens. If you haven't spotted the problem yet, the built-in emitters will be completely blocked by whatever optic you're using, unless it's some freakishly thin mount on a riser. If you use the monocle with the infrared lights on, the light is going to hit the optic, it's going to bounce off, it's going to reflect off of the glass, and it's going to cause a terrible sight picture. It's going to cause a lot of glare for your night vision eye. Now, the reason I'm not calling this completely debilitating or a major design flaw in this headset. Most times when you see real night vision deployed in relation to firearms, the individual is going to have a different type of emitter that is not on the monocle. Whether it's with an IR flashlight, an IR laser mounted on the gun, or like what I've done, I've mounted an IR flashlight to my helmet. Having the IR flashlight on my helmet will allow me to look freely side to side without having to move my rifle, which helps me avoid potentially unintentionally flagging individuals. Nova, I'm not the ATF, it's okay, I promise. Hi. <laughs> we'll be right back.
Now, if I got serious about using this monocle alongside my rifle, I would look into something like getting a PEC or something that combines an IR laser and an IR illuminator. Now, if Night Fox didn't anticipate that, that's a problem with the design of the Prowl. And I think that the easiest way to rectify that for future models would be to simply move the IR emitters maybe even just to the top or to the side. That would at least move the emitters away from the optic a little bit so more light would get past and it would be less of a direct glare against whatever optic glass you have. So this last issue is more of a debilitating issue, mostly for people that don't really know how to deploy night vision with a firearm or with an airsoft gun. Just know you're going to have to spend an extra 50, $60 at absolute minimum to get this to be able to adequately function with a gun. To be fair, this is perfect for if you are just using it for observation or reconnaissance or scouting or nature watching. You're not gonna have any problems with interference from the lights, the emitters here, because you know, you're not gonna be putting anything right in front of the camera lens. In all, this is a pretty solid piece of kit for $240, $250 right now on amazon at time of recording there's actually a 30 dollars coupon maybe that's there for black friday uh so you can get this for just 210 dollars that's a heck of a steal when you consider the swift 2 not the pro the swift 2 costs about the same it's an excellent piece of kit that i had really high hopes for and for the most part, it didn't disappoint. I do still recommend this. $250 plus another 50 or so for a good infrared flashlight. And Night Fox actually makes a pretty good just infrared flashlight. Excuse me, torch. You will get plenty of functionality out of this night vision device. And for that, I think it is worth the 240 US dollars that this costs. That's gonna do it for this video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing to the Phantom Llamas Den. Hit that bell icon to get notifications for future content. Go follow us on Instagram and X. And as always, don't take life too seriously and make it a great day.